Hi everybody, I'm Zilla Blitz and welcome to a brand new series on Trucker Tuesdays. Yes, we are returning after about a year away to SnowRunner. Now I bought the version, I bought the game on Steam, so I'm gonna have to start a new campaign. We're gonna try hard mode. Haven't played for a year, but I confess that I did try over the weekend for about three, four hours to see whatever kind of skill, if I could kind of freshen up and touch up my skill at driving these things. Not that I was ever very good at the game, but I played for about three or four hours and completely messed up two hard mode saves. So that didn't really work. Before we get started here, we've got our Chevrolet in our garage. Our goal for this episode is can we get the Fleet Star up and running without costing us any money? Before we do that though, I'm gonna customize this pickup truck to get it looking a little bit more like we want it to look. I'll be right back. All right, there we go. We got a nice orange truck, harsh driver on the front, wild truck on the sides. Let's get out of here, release the parking brake, and we're gonna head off. So now we'll pull around over here. First up, we're gonna discover, we'll discover everything that we can possibly discover in this first episode as well, because we wanna get as much experience and money as we can here, of course. Let's come over here. We'll find the trailer store, get out of that. We'll discover this trailer. That gives us 30 experience, perfect. And this is what we want right here. We're gonna grab this service truck here with all its spare parts, and we're gonna bring it over to the Fleet Star, which is in the garage over on the other side here. Let's just back up to this. Oh, we actually, we can't pull forward with this, right? Because we have to attach the winch because we don't have a, a trailer on this. So we'll just do that. We're gonna try to pull it over there. Well, let's get going here. Pull forward, get out of that. All right, here we go. Let's see if this works. Yeah, we can pull that no problem. So we're gonna pull over here to the Fleet Star and then pull the Fleet Star forward so that we can hook this up. Stop, stop, stop. Yeah, okay, right, right about, actually that works out pretty good. And let's uh, get that upgrade. Good, so we get the upgrade for the all wheel drive for the Fleet Star right here. We will, that's A-OK. -okay. Let's release the winch. And now I wanna pull forward here, get the Fleet Star hooked up. I'm gonna to tow the Fleet Star, which is totally broken down. That's why we need the service truck up here. The goal is gonna be try to get the Fleet Star up and running without spending any money for it. So let's see what we can do here. I'm gonna play around here for a second, get the Fleet Star hooked up to the back of this, and then we'll go forward from there. So I'll see you in a second. All right, so we're gonna release the winch. I think we're pretty close. Let's see if we can change trucks. I don't think we're quite close enough here. Let's see if we can change trucks into the Fleet Star. And if we got lucky here, we can attach the trailer. Oh, we got it, nice, okay. So we've attached the trailer and we're gonna come in here into the repair function on this trailer now that it's hooked up. And we can see on the right hand side there that everything's broken. All six wheels, gas tank, engine, everything's at zero. Normally it would cost us $2,500 to get this repaired. But in hard mode, we wanna to try to save as much money as we can. So we're gonna use the service trailer to fix this up. So let's do that. Boom, that uh, kind of takes a lot of parts out and takes a lot of expenses and things like that out. But now our Fleet Star is only short of gas. Now, before we put gas in the Fleet Star, what I wanna do is I wanna go to town. There's another truck. If we look here on our map up here, there is another truck. We know there's another truck up here because we played this map before. In the town, there is that other truck that we can get. And that truck has, uh, has a flatbed on it. I wanna get that other truck, the Chevrolet I think it is. And then we're gonna bring it back to the garage and then we're gonna switch out the bed so we get the free truck on the bed. So I'm gonna head down, let's head downtown first here, and we're gonna see if we can discover that other truck. And we're gonna pick up some jobs along the way, basically just trying to get as many things as we possibly can. Let's switch this to four wheel drive, practice my driving. Hopefully I don't rack up the truck too badly on the way to town here. But I'm excited to be back in the game. It, I played for about three hours and it was a little bit, I will say a touch, not frustrating, but I, boy, I was never really good at the game. So I'm, I'm expecting we're probably going to get stuck in hard mode here at some point, but we will give it a shot. Maybe we'll go 10 episodes, maybe 20 episodes or something like that. But I'm just gonna kind of enjoy the game, see what we can do. And in the very beginning here, we wanna try to discover everything that we possibly can in this Michigan map, unlock all the jobs, make as much money as we can, and as quickly as we possibly can, we wanna unlock the scout, go discover the scout. Whoops. We wanna go get this other truck downtown, so that should be good. Get all four trucks that are easily available here in this, this first map, at least right at the beginning. Get them all up and running, because one of the things we can't do in hard mode is spend money to recover our trucks when, whoa, don't need that. that's not a good start. Um, we don't wanna spend a lot of money recovering trucks because we don't have a lot of money. We have 5,000, not even that now, we might have, yeah, I think we have $5,000 at the start here. So we wanna save as much money as we can so that if we have issues, 
we'll be able to recover the trucks in dire cases of emergencies. But for the most part, when our trucks get stuck, we want to bring in our other trucks to try to pull them out. And now that we only have one pickup truck and one delivery truck, we really need to go get these other trucks. So anything in there that we want? Yes, we want to go get this job in here and discover this fuel tanker, which is going to be our source of fuel here early on in the game. So we're going to show that task and accept it, the place beyond the sprint, sprint, um, beyond the spruces. We're not going to do that right now. And we've discovered the fuel trailer, picking up another 30 experience. It'd be nice if we could get to level two in this episode too, although that might be tricky. Anyway, I'm going to kind of keep making my way downtown. We'll check in as we get closer to downtown. We're not going to attempt to pull these concrete slabs out here, but we can use these, that's for sure. A new trailer discovered. We're going to use these to rebuild the power lines off to the side there. So just kind of collecting all these things. And it's funny too, I haven't played for a long time, but once I played for a couple hours, I'm like, okay, yeah, I, I I've done the basic mode on this map and the hard mode, most of it, part of it anyway, on this map. And uh, kind of remember where things are actually. But yeah, my driving skills have atrophied. Here we go. We'll see when we get closer to downtown. All right, we're just taking a quick detour over here to try to, to unlock this job that's the power lines job. The fallen power lines. We can see the tower that's fallen in here. Michigan is just a mess and we're going to have to fix it all up again. It is fun to be back in this game, though. I've been looking forward to this for quite a while. So I'm excited to come back Trucker Tuesdays and give this a shot. So let's park up here and we're going to show the task and we'll accept the task. So that will be a job we're going to try to do sooner than later is to fix the power line so that we can unlock the road, which is going to get open up a big part of that middle part of the map there. But all right, we're back on our way, heading downtown. All right, we are approaching downtown. We will cut over here, head over to the truck and get gas while we're here too. We don't mess the truck up here as we go through the water. Shouldn't be a problem. Let's get some gas. We do have to pay for the gas in hard mode, as people know. This is everything you have to pay for in hard mode. So gas is free in the regular mode. Completely different game. Again, I'm not super confident we're gonna make it so far. We'll pay for gas here because we might need it. So that's not too bad. But where we can, we want to avoid paying for gas. Now, we can go to the detour down here to the right, which is going to take us up to this first tower, which is kind of on the way to the truck that we want to get to anyway. So that should work out pretty well. Let's avoid this water if we can. Good. So just around the corner here, we should unlock our first tower, which will give us more visibility on the map. And get around the corner here. There is our first watchtower. Most excellent. So far, so good. We haven't created any damage on the truck so far. Knock on wood. You have to pay to fix all the damage to the truck too, which is, yeah, that adds up. So as I was driving around yesterday, good, 50 more experience points, launch, uh, launch observation, and we have unlocked a good chunk of the first map again. There's a lot of watchtowers on this map too, but how are we doing here? Oops, let's check the map this way. There we go. Good, not too bad. We've got a lot of jobs to pick up. We'll pick up Hotel Woes on the way back. Let's go down now and go get our truck, which is over there, and we'll keep on going. So I think, I think we can take a shortcut here maybe, rather than go all the way through. Could we go? Well, maybe not. Oh, we'll try this way. I think actually, I'm looking at the map. I think we might be able to go through the woods here. Again, what could possibly go wrong with this? I think this is a shortcut. So let's try it. Probably these aren't the things you probably shouldn't do in hard mode, right? Oops. Oh yeah, there's the truck right there. Perfect. So we can just go through here, through there, come to the fence, but I don't think fences are an issue, right? Oh, maybe it is. There's something on the other side of that fence. Oh, there's a tree there. <laughs> Couldn't see it, it was faded out. Okay, there's gotta be a way in here. All right, because that's our truck right over there. Let's just go around here, I guess. This looks pretty good. Yeah, there we go. Excuse me, just knock the fence down. And we've discovered our truck. This is the one we want. Good. 100, and we are going to oops, stop the engine. And then we're going to change trucks. We'll get in this truck, the GMC truck. And we want to get out of here. I'm not going to take the shortcut with the GMT truck. But first up, I want to think if there's something we can take back with the GMT truck that's going to be one of our jobs. Actually, kind of thinking through it, we're just going to head straight back with this. And the reason I want to take this truck back, one is I want to get it down to our garage there. 
But two, I want the, this flatbed that's on the truck. I think it costs like 5,000, 4,000, 5,000 bucks or something like that. And I want to take this off of this truck and put it on the Fleet Star because that will save us 5,000 bucks. And basically this truck right here is just going to be used kind of in emergencies. So we're really not going to be using it too much for actual jobs and things like that, unless we have to, um, because it's it's just not very good the way it is. It doesn't have all wheel drive. It's the Fleet Star is much better. So, but I do want the bed off of this truck and I want to get the truck down to our garage so that if we need it to try to rescue the Fleet Star, we can do that. If we flip the Fleet Star over for some unknown reason, we'll see you as we get closer to our final destination here. Okay, we are about halfway back and I want to try to get this trailer. I don't know if we're going to get stuck in here with this. I feel like this truck is so easy to get stuck pretty much everywhere, but I'm hopeful that we can get this and if not tow it out, at least winch it out here. So let's try to do that because that'll save us a trip down here. We'll get the gas trailer back to the garage, which is kind of one of the things we want to do here. Let's see. I'm just going to attach the winch rather than try to trailer it out until we get out on the road. There, there. Let's see if we can pull it out here. This might be a little bit risky because this truck isn't really good on off-road, but so far so good. It's looking okay here. I think that mud over there is going to be an issue on the left, but yeah, so far so good. We can miss that thing. Stay out of the mud here. Maybe we're okay. Yeah, it's looking pretty good, actually. We're slipping a little bit. Let's get the winch going. Oh, the winch is in the back, isn't it? We got this. Come on, truck. You got it. You got it. I believe in you. Come on, GMC. I believe in you. Get those front wheels. Uh. Okay. Let's try to release the winch. Pull forward a little bit. Go. Get out of here. We can't get stuck here. That's embarrassing. Let's go backwards. And forwards. There we go. All right, now let's try the winch from here. Perfect. That should get us a little bit more traction. Swing this wide so we don't hit the pole. Oh, we're going to hit the tree there, aren't we? All right, a little bit forward. And let's see now if we can back it up and hook it up. So I'm going to hook this one up and see if we can take this. Oops, other way. That's not close enough, is it? There we go. That looks a little better. Bingo. Okay. Oh, can we pull this out? We'll find out. Rusty. Rusty, rusty, rusty. Okay, here. Make it? Yeah, good. Okay, we'll get the tanker going. So we'll get back heading towards our home. I think we should be okay on this road here with this, so hopefully all will go well. All right, we got the fuel tanker back here. This is good. We got our GMC back here, so we can scrap, well, not scrap it, but we'll steal the bed off of this one. Let's park the gas tank right over here. This feels like a good place to park it because we're going to be using this a lot. We're going to basically drain it here. So we'll stop that here. Detach the trailer. Let's do that. Perfect. Detach the trailer. And now we're going to pull this around into the garage and strip the bed off of it here. So we can put it onto the Fleet Star. And then we should be able to buy a crane for the Fleet Star. Because in hard mode, as I'm sure people know, well, a lot of people who play the game know, but in hard mode, you have to pay for all the pickups that you don't load, all the cargo pickups that you don't load yourself. So that's a bummer. And we don't want to do that. So into the garage we go. Let's customize this. I'll be right back. All right. So we painted it blue, put our stickers on it. We want to take the frame out on here and we want to get rid of the sideboard bed. Perfect. And back out. Good. So that's now off of there. And if we look at this truck, we're taking the sideboard bed off, which we can use now for the Fleet Star. So let's get out of here and let's go to our Fleet Star right there. Perfect. And we are going to detach the trailer into the parking brake, start the engine up and oh, we're out of fuel. 
Oh, Demi. Okay. Okay, I, I know what we can do. That's easy to fix. We'll get into the garage here. I'll be right back. We're going to the garage, get the other truck out, get the show, the GMC out. Where did it go? We'll go down to the garage, get the GMC out, drive it around and siphon the gas off of it. That'll work for right now. Uh, garage entrance, there we go. All right, in we go. Let's leave the garage and use the parking brake. We got plenty of gas, 188 liters. That's not a problem. We can actually fill it up too. That's probably a good idea while we're here. So we'll pull over to this one, fill it up. And actually we can just pull over to it and just put gas, yeah, gas right in it. So, all right, stop there. Refuel, fill it up. Perfect. Okay, then let's just pull over here around the service truck. And now we will refuel. Oops, I'm gonna go the other way. And right trigger, there we go. Boom, okay. So the GMC's out of it. I just wanna do half, how do we do half? I'll figure this out. There we go, I just have to tap it and that gets half of it in there. So now we got this one solved. We'll pull this one back into the garage, get that out of the way. And then we will go get our Fleet Star and we should be good, we have yeah, perfect. We'll go paint this, customize it. We've got it half filled with gas. We can fill it up from the tanker there. Let's get into the garage. We're gonna customize it first. Oh, it has to be lime green for sure. Let's get our stickers on it, our company stickers here. Harsh driver on the front. Wild truck, wild truck, wild truck, wild truck. Good, we're all set there. Now, let's come up in here. And we want to add the frame on. We should have the frame bed, the sideboard bed that we took from the GMC. So we'll put that on for free. And we have $8,800 right now. I want to put the loading crane on, which is going to cost us $5,700. We're going to purchase that, leaving us $3,000. But now we don't have to pay for any uh, loading of cargo with this because we can do it all manually. And the sun is going down here on our first episode. Let's do one thing here, which is we have some service parts here with our truck. Let's get our lights on. There we go. We have our service vehicle over here. These service parts, I think they are. And we can take these over. I believe our first job right here is it's available to us. Not Pinewood Express. Not the place beyond the spoons. It's in here. Dyson Diesel. Pipe Dream. Nope. It's down here. I think it's Husky Forwarding. Farming tools, right there. So we're gonna get the farming tools. We'll activate this one. We're gonna pick up the farming tools, which is right here. Pull them over to the farm and that will get our first official job done. All right, let's back this up right here. See if we can do this on one shot. Nope, I don't think so. Maybe get attached trailer. Nope, trailer's too far away. Like that, nope, too far away. How are we doing? Oh, we're not even close. Okay. Let's get this around. There we go. Trailer attached. Now we are on our way, making money. All right. So we will head over towards the farm. And once we get there, we will turn this job in. We'll see you in a couple minutes as we get close. As we're driving here, one thing I realized I probably can chat a little bit about. Let's actually turn on our all-wheel drive. Oh, I forgot to upgrade it to all-wheel drive. What a dummy. Ah, okay. I hope we don't get stuck over there. That's good. We have the free all-wheel drive upgrade. I should have put that on the truck when we were inside the garage, but I forgot. That means this is going to be a slog. But, oh well. I think we're going to be okay anyway. <laughs> sure. It'll be a lot slower, though, because I can't switch out of this two-wheel drive, rear-wheel drive. Come on, truck. You can use a differential lock. That might help. Differential lock's available in low gear only. Anyway, we'll make our slow way here <laughs> to the farm. It's right up there. We can see the sign on the right. While we're going here, though, actually, we can chat, too. Because, so I had the game on the Epic Steam, on the Epic Game Store before, and I needed the Season 3 upgrade, and I found a really good deal for it on Steam. So I'm on Steam more than I'm on the Epic Game Store, so I decided to just switch it 
So instead of being on uh, Steam, instead of being on Epic, I'm playing on Steam, which means I have to start my saves over again. I, maybe there was a way to transfer it, but I figured since I haven't played for a year, it just makes more sense, honestly, to really <laughs> to just start over because some of these easier episodes, starting on the harder episode, the harder missions that we had uh, before in the end there, that would have been, could have been pretty catastrophic. It's been hard enough to kind of just get my wheels under me on this one here, but there is our loading zone right over there. I want to try to avoid the muck here. Pull in, if I remember right, it's that far left side, the, the left side here that should be good. It should just pop off, I think, right? Once we get in the zone here, let's go slow. Once we get in here, it should just automatically vanish. And there we go. Except 130 experience points. Are we level two yet? I don't think so. We're still level one, but we got a thousand more bucks. That's good. I want to build up a reserve very quickly um, so that we, if we do get our truck stuck and we absolutely need to recover our trucks, we'll have enough money to do so. Because that's over the weekend. That's what I kind of screwed up is I got our trucks really stuck and, and then I didn't have any money to get them out. And it's kind of like, well, okay, everything's stuck. I have to start over. I was going to do that anyway. I was just using those for practice, but successful mission. Let's go back and put the all wheel drive on this truck. And then we should be officially done with this episode. So I'll see you when we get back to the garage here. All righty, we are back to our garage. Let's get it in here. Now we can customize it and let's get the all wheel drive on it right there. Perfect. And with that, I think we will stop with our Fleet Star successfully parked in our garage. So we've got the Fleet Star up and running. It cost 5,700, but we got the crane on it. We picked up a couple jobs, completed our first job. We picked up our other truck. Next episode, I think what we're gonna do is try to unlock that fallen power line with this Fleet Star truck and then probably explore a little bit with the pickup truck. Might head directly out and see if we can unlock that scout truck that's way up on the hill in the far side of this zone. That will give us all four vehicles up and running just in case we flip the Chevrolet over or get the Fleet Star stuck. At least then we'll have a prayer and a chance to be able to save it with one of our other two, two or three trucks that we've got available. Thanks for tuning in. Let me know what you think down below. I'd love to read your comments. I'll put a link to episode two as soon as it's ready. Take care. Bye.